beyond monoculture this is everything i need to know i learn in the forest part 2 let us learn some meaning this is the flower rhododendrons which we had learned in a part 1 which is found in himalaya and this is the first meaning monoculture where you grow single crop in a given land this is biodiversity where you can see variety of life in the world in particular habitat and this is anthropotism regarding human as the central element of the universe this is organic farming practice without using artificial chemicals found in natural ways so these are the earth democracy the freedom for all species to evolve within the web of life when they learn about biodiversity based on living economies the protection of both has become her mission's life's mission and she had written in monocultures of the mind the f- she started saving seeds from the farmer's field and then realized she needed a farm for demonstration and training thus navadanya farm was started in 1994 in doon valley located in the lower elevation of himalayan region of uttarakhand provinces today she conserved and grows 630 varieties of rice and 150 varieties of wheat and hundreds of other species they practiced a promote biodiversity intense farming that produces more food and nutrition per acre the conservation biodiversity is therefore also the answer to the food and nutrition crisis she worked with the farmers to set up more than 100 community seed banks across india and they started 3000 varieties of rice where they help farmers making transition from fossil fuel and chemical based monoculture to biodiverse ecological system nourished by the sun and soil rights of nature on the global stage when nature is a teacher we co-create with her we recognize her agency and her rights that is why it is significant that ucado has recognized the rights of nature in its constitution united nation general assembly inspired by the constitution of ucado and the universal declaration of the rights of mother earth initiated by bolivia the organized conference on harmony with nature as a part of earth day celebration of the discussion centered on the ways of transform system based on domination of people over nature men over women rich over poor into system based on partnership harmony with nature importance of reconnecting with nature ultimately environmentally destructive behavior is the result of failure to recognize that human beings are inseparable part of nature and that we cannot damage it without severely damaging ourselves patriotism is indeed at the root of disharmony with nature and violence against nature and people as the prominent south african environmentalist cormac cullen points out apartheid means separateness the world join the anti apartheid movement to end the violent separation of people on the basis of color apartheid in south africa was put behind today we need to overcome the wider and deeper apartheid based on the illusion of separateness of humans from nature in our minds and lives human beings are inseparable part of nature if we try to remove them we can damage we will damage ourselves hope you all understood what vandana wants to convey you the message through this second part of monoculture